What's up, everybody? It's Abe back with another episode of These Are The Breaks. And today we are going to open up a box of 1990 Topps Baseball Cello Packs. What is a cello pack, you guys might ask? Well, it's a pack of cards wrapped in cellophane, not wax or not wax uh, packaging. Inside of these wax packs, there are 31 cards along with a stick of gum, but there's no wax. So the difference between a pack of these is that you're not gonna get all the damage on the back from the wax that's been sitting for 30 some odd years. Um, but there should be a little bit of staining. Uh, it's, it's expected um, in these cards because there is gonna be a pack, a, a stick of gum in the middle of the pack um, somewhere in there that may or may not stain the cards. But super excited to open up one of these boxes. The reason why everybody wants to open one of these boxes is for the crazy famous Frank Thomas, no name on front, or Frank Thomas, NNOF, error card. It's a picture of Frank Thomas, uh, and on the card, it has his name right there, or it's supposed to have his name right there, but the error card is missing the name on the Frank Thomas. So you'll see Frank Thomas's rookie card, and it does not have his name. Um, there are very, very few in existence. The story behind it was that when the, um, I believe, boxes out of Chicago um, were being printed, there was an issue with a couple of the print runs and only a handful of boxes made it out um, that had the error. They caught it in time and they stopped and they fixed it. So only a handful of cards were ever found to have the error. As we open up these packs, we're going to be looking for cards like Ken Griffey Jr., Frank Thomas, uh, Bernie Williams, Sammy Sosa, Juan Gonzalez, Larry Walker, rookies. Um, there's a lot of really, really cool cards in here. It is, what's today? March 8th. And it is uh, 2021, and we're moving right along with all the boxes uh, that we've been opening. Um, I've had these uh, cello pack boxes for a while now. Um, I had maybe a handful of them that I was saving, um, and I just decided to open one. I think it was you know right around that that time where um, they, they were starting to gain a little bit of popularity. So I said, like, you know what? Let's we haven't done a video on them yet. Let's do a video. So in the middle of the pack, you're gonna find the gum. Ugh. And of course, one of these uh, sweepstakes cards where you would fill it out, mail it in, and get a free glossy card or um, get something like that. Uh, we don't really mail those in anymore because I don't think you'd get anything. But it'd be funny to find out. Anyway, these are what the cards look like. It's got the picture of the player on the front along with his name down at, down at the bottom. Now, these were a big deal when they came out in 1990 because they were supposed to be uh, styled after um, one of the older boxes. Topps was going back to their roots. They apparently styled uh, the 1990 cards after uh, cards from the 1975 era, I believe, 1975 year. They were getting more colorful. Uh, they went to the sleek kind of border. Um, they matched uh, the colors of the um, – players uh, of the team names with the players' names to give it a little bit more uh, pizzazz, so to speak. Um, anyway, we're just going to kind of bounce right through these. There's a Brett Saberhagen All-Star. We're going to take some of the notable cards out. Again, we're looking for, boom, first one, first pack, little first pack magic. There's the Bernie Williams rookie. Uh, that's one of the cards that we're looking for. There he is. You could see his last team that he played for in 1989 was up in Albany. Uh, so they stayed true to New York. Uh, so there's a Bernie Williams. That's a great card. We're going to keep going here. I'm actually going to put uh, the all-star cards in a pile here because I think we're going to get a, a lot of them. Uh, this set, uh, there's a, uh, I believe, a team. No, who is that? That is president of the National League. That's a pretty cool card. A. Bartlett Giamatti. I haven't really seen one of those. Um, I believe there was uh, close to 1,000 cards uh, in this in this set. There was a lot of cards that Topps produced out of these sets back in the day. There was always a lot of players. Um, but uh, there's a Lenny Dykstra. Uh, but again, we're going to focus primarily on uh, just the notable names and players. There's a Doc Gooden. That's a pretty cool card. Uh, so we're going to be looking for the rookies. We're going to be looking for the Frank Thomas, for the Ken Griffey Jr., the Sammy Sosa, Bernie Williams, you know, all that stuff, all those guys. We're going to be looking for those. Um, Let's see who we have here. I'm just going to kind of keep going through these. Uh, so I've had this box for a while. I was sitting on it and I said, you know what? I wanted to do a video on these cards. And it's weird because I'm noticing, oh, there's a checklist. Um, I wanted to, and there is the 
gum card. So this is, let's see, the gum is stuck to the back over there. It's actually pulling away pretty nicely. I'm just going to put all these sweepstakes cards over here. Um, I know a lot of people uh, are interested in opening these boxes to try to find that Frank Thomas error. Um, and it got me kind of, <laughs> you know, interested again. So I wanted to go open up one of my um, boxes and see if I could find something. I just thought it would be really, really cool if we had a hit like that on the channel. So I said, why not? And I decided to open up uh, a box. Uh, there's a pretty cool card. There's a Kirby Puckett All-Star. That's a pretty cool one. Uh, let's see who we get. Here's a Ruben Sierra. Again, there's a Future Stars, Alex Sanchez. There's a Fred McGriff. I remember Fred McGriff, Jimmy Jones, Mike Witt, Will Clark. Put the Will Clark in this pile. Uh, let's see here. And again, if you guys, uh, this is Kirby Puckett as a base. If you guys see me uh, pass a card that you think I should pull out, just uh, leave a message in the comments because uh, we always keep all these cards. We don't throw them away. So leave me a message in the comments and let me know if I missed a card or if there was something that you think I should have pulled out and I didn't. Um, let me know what players you like. Let me know, you know, if you guys have opened up any of these boxes. I always like to hear from people and find out, you know, if they had luck and if they pulled a card. Um, right now, these boxes are starting to, you know, come up in price a little bit, believe it or not. I think a lot of people have the nostalgia for the 1990 cards. I remember I was a kid and, and I was um, collecting these cards. I would only be able to afford a pack. And um, eventually you get older and you just start buying boxes and boxes. So I actually got these boxes, I think for like 10 or 15 bucks a box. Um, these are still a few years ago when I got them. Um, but now on eBay, which is probably the best place to go buy packs uh, and go buy boxes, I think these boxes, they're starting to creep up. You know, as soon as like one card pops off, usually um, everybody goes nuts and tries to get as many of these boxes as they can. So I think the wax boxes, um, I think they're going for, I think maybe like 25, 30 bucks a box, but then the cello boxes uh, and the wax boxes only have about 540 cards or so. Um, these cello boxes, there's a Craig Biggio. Uh, these cello boxes, I believe, have about a thousand cards in it. I could be wrong. It could be just shy or just over. So um, definitely worth the money. I think these boxes right now are selling for about anywhere between 75 and 80 bucks a box after shipping maybe. So it just depends on like if you know somebody, if you have an old card shop by you and, um, you know, the guy's been holding on to him for years and he just wants to get rid of them, um, you know, go scoop up a box. They're really, really fun to open. There's a Mark McGuire. That's a pretty cool card. Uh, so still haven't hit any of the um, – well, there's a Nolan Ryan. This one looks really nice. That's a cool one. Nolan Ryan, Hall of Fame pitcher. Great card to hit. Um, that's definitely one of the ones that are starting to get up there in price. I believe right now Nolan Ryan in a PSA 10 of 1990 tops, selling anywhere between 50 and 100 bucks. There's my man Hojo Howard Johnson, one of the Mets. Growing up in New York, obviously, Met fan. All right, there's a George Brett. Oh, here we go. We got a Bo Jackson. That's a pretty cool one. There's the man right there, Mr. Bo. That's a pretty cool card. I love the purple on this one. Bo Jackson's always a neat uh, card to pull. Uh, let's see. All right, let's open up another one here. Again, um, not really too expensive. There's nothing really that's going to blow your mind in these boxes, but just on the off chance, on the off chance that you're going to pull, you know, a really, really nice Griffey or – the Frank Thomas, you know, it's always good to film yourself opening up these boxes because you just never know. So it's always fun. Uh, there's Ricky Jordan. Let's see here. If we have anybody else, there's Craig Bailey, George Price. So really, there's a future star, Eric Anthony, Felix Jose. There's another Ozzie Smith, Danny Cox, Mike Maddox. Jose Gonzalez. And these cards, um, 
What's good about them is that they're not glossy, so they don't really stick together. Uh, you don't have to worry about these cards sitting in packs for years and, you know, like some, you know, glossy, you know, basketball cards, for instance, a lot of them stick together. Um, so uh, after sitting in a hum humid location for 30 years, they just, you got to peel them apart. It seems like there's a little bit of um, kind of chalky residue left over from the gum on, on most of these cards and it actually stops them from sticking together. So it's uh, not bad. Um, not exactly uh, the nicest cards, but again, this is just towards the tail end of the Junk Wax era, 1990. Here's a David Cohn, Gary Pettitz, Andreas Galarraga. That's a pretty cool one. Um, again, we're looking for the Bernie Williams, Sammy Sosa, Juan Gonzalez, Larry Walker. Hopefully, we'll hit a couple of those in here. I still have a couple more of these boxes, so... Um, if I ever really want to, uh, I could always do another video of these 1990 uh, Topps baseball. There's a Greg Jeffries. I was always a huge fan of Greg Jeffries. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, these are just fun to open. Nothing really too crazy, but it's really, really cool if you hit as an Alan Trammell. Uh, it is really, really cool winner if you hit as a Bobby Bo, Bobby Bonilla. It is cool when you hit one of these uh, rookie cards, and that's what makes it fun to open is just like the excitement of trying to hit one of those cards. So that's why I decided I was going to open one of these today on the channel. Plus, I haven't opened one yet, and they've just been sitting there, and hey, why not? Um, you got the time. You got the box. It's sitting there. For what I got it for, it was just so cheap, so why not? Next pack, let's see, it is a Sandy Alomar. Now, I know, um, I believe there was an error card where it was Roberto Alomar or Sandy Alomar Jr. I think it was Roberto Alomar Jr. where they left out the junior. Uh, so that was an error. Here's a Deion Sanders card. Pretty cool. It's a Kevin Mitchell All-Star. Um, There's all kind of little silly errors. Another Eric Davis. Um, Bunch of silly error cards in this um, set, but a lot of them are usually uh, – some of the errors are all like on the back with regards to stats. Like they might have um, – there's a Barry Larkin. Uh, they might have spelled, spelled the guy's name wrong or um, instead of his batting average being .08, it was .80 or uh, stuff like that. There's a lot of those silly little errors um, in these packs, but again – the most notable is the Frank Thomas. And then, obviously, uh, there's another – I don't want to call it an error, but with regards to the Ken Griffey Jr., uh, Ken Griffey Jr. on the card had like a, a scar on his oh, – up. there's a Nolan Ryan. The, the uh, Ken Griffey Jr. had a scar, um, like a scab on his arm when he posed for the picture. And I think Topps edited out that card um, to get rid of the scar. So – uh, depending on which version of the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card you have, you may or may not have a scar card, as they call them. Um, so this is a Nolan Ryan 5000. This is a pretty cool card. Decent centering, not perfect. It's a little bit off left to right, but the top and bottom looks really nice. That's a pretty cool one. That's the uh, 5000 Ranger card. Uh, let's see here. There's an Ozzie Smith right behind that. That's pretty cool. Ozzie Smith. I actually have one of his rookie cards, believe it or not, from 1978. Pretty cool. There's a John Smoltz with all kind of junk all over it. Uh, you got the uh, the little yellow stain on the top and a little circle of schmutz in there. I don't know what the heck that was. Uh, let's see here. Charlie Hayes. And boom, we got it, ladies and gentlemen. The Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. Now, we were just talking about this a second ago. I don't know if you guys can see that on there, but that little red on his arm was the, was the um, injury that he had. He must have scratched his arm that day. So it's got a little bit of red on the arm right there. I don't know if you guys can see that if I hold it up to the camera. Um, that's the scar. And that's the red that they tried to blur out. They put like dots on it, I think to try to cover it. So you can see this one actually has the dots on it, which is pretty interesting. Um, the card itself is in decent shape. Uh, looks like it's got a little bit of fuzz on the corner. Um, centering is good top to bottom. It's a little bit off center left to right. Back looks decent. 
But boom, we hit it. That's the Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, rookie card. Pretty cool. And right behind him, we had a Craig, Craig Worthington rookie. Dick Thorne, Joe Girardi, Johnny Ray, uh, Tom Herr, Ernie Witt, Hubie Brooks, Lou Polina. All right. So not bad. Not bad. We hit the Griffey. I'd love to hit a Frank Thomas on camera, see if we can get one of those guys. Um, again, that's what I like about these cello boxes. Because there's more cards, you're more likely to hit uh, or you have more of a chance to hit one of the, uh, you know, one of everything. Um, so here's uh, here's a Jeff Jackson first round draft pick. So that's what it would say at the top on the Frank Thomas card. Um, if we hit one, I hope that we do. Uh, let's go through here again. We have a Robin Young All-Star. I'm just pulling out all the All-Stars. I like the All-Stars. Um, again, no Larry Walker, Sammy Sosa yet. Chris Sable. There's a Randy Johnson. Pretty cool card. Um, I don't believe that's his rookie. I think his rookie was 89. Carlos Martinez. Gary Sheffield. There you go. There's an all-star Gary Sheffield rookie. That's pretty cool. Gold Cup rookie. Pretty good so far. See who else we have here. I'm just gonna pull these gum cards out. Now don't eat the gum. It's 30 years old. Who knows what could happen if you eat the gum? Probably nothing, but I know uh I've seen people eat the gum. There's a future star as Mark Gardner. Um I know people eat the gum and it just like you know disintegrates in their mouth. Kind of gross. There's another Nolan Ryan, Mr. 5000. Pretty cool. Put him in the pile. Mookie Wilson. Uh, let's see here. Fred McGriff. Remember watching Fred McGriff play? There's a Kyle Ripken. Keith Miller. Jerry Reed. Steve Jazz. Rick okay, so nothing in those packs. We're about halfway through the box here. I'm going to pull some more packs out. At least these, these packs open easily. I'm going to go right to that gum card and... Pull it out, put it off to the side. Be really nice if we hit the, uh, like a nice, um, oh, there, another Nolan Ryan. That's pretty cool. Nice card. It'd be nice if we hit the uh, Frank Thomas. I'd really like to hit one of those Roberto Alomar, um, John Crook. Be really nice if we hit one of those Steve Sachs. Turn back the clock. I remember these cards. It was, uh, a card that used to, it would give the information on a, a player. This is Kansas City. George Brett stole some of the scenes. But it was Mike Schmidt, Steve Carlton, Dallas Green, who starred in the baseball's version of the Philadelphia story. So that's pretty cool. Uh, these, these little info cards. There's a Kurt Gibson. I remember Kurt Gibson. Future stars, Todd Zeal. One, let's see, Eric Show, Dave Stewart. There's another Gary Sheffield rookie. Pretty cool. Ricky Kelp. Mike Moore, Paul Molitor, there's a George Bell, pretty cool. I like George Bell, I'm going to put him actually up to the sign. Benny Santiago, and nothing. So still no, uh, no Frank Thomas yet. I'd love to hit a Mattingly. Mattingly had a nice card this year. We hit the Bernie Williams. Uh, but no Sosa, no Juan Gonzalez as of yet. I hope I didn't like pass over it, but there's a Mariano Duncan. Okay, let's see what we have here. Still a couple more packs left. Okay, there's a Kevin Mitchell, a Whitaker, Mike Witt. There's a Will Clark. Kirby Puckett. See here, is it Jesus? There's another turn back the clock. Roger Sockade. Dave Johnson. Kelly Gruber. All right. So no luck on the Frank Thomas or the Sammy Sosa or the Larry Walker yet. But hopefully we'll hit one. We have we're about halfway through the box, so 
we still got a pretty good shot. There's a Roger Clemens. Look at how young he looks in that, huh? 1990. That's a pretty cool one. All right, Mackie Sasser. Remember him on the Mets? Pico. Roger McDowell. I remember Roger McDowell. Jim Abbott, one-handed wonder. Amazing pitcher. So Robin Yount. Uh, Raymond Martinez. Dave Schmidt, Tracy Jones, Larry Sheets. Ricky Jordan. Greg Milton, Greg Brilly, and Joe Price. Okay, so none in those packs. Let's see here. Open up another one. Again, we'll go right to that gum card and pull those out. Look how easy these cards open. They just open so easy. Fred Lynn. Up, oh, Nolan, Ryan, 5,000s. There we go. Another cool one. Roberto Alomar, John Crock, Steve Sachs. I feel like we opened this exact pack already. <laughs> Kurt Gibson. Uh, let's see. Ikea. There's a Greg Maddox. Pretty cool card. Barry Lines, Bob Greenlee, Greg Olson. Dennis Lamp. All right. Let's keep going. Hopefully we'll hit one of these. Um, a lot of people ask, uh, you know, ask me to, in the video, talk about, like, prices of the cards. So, um, here in 2020, prices of cards are just literally, like, all over the place. Obviously, if you hit, you know, one of these Frank Thomas error cards, it's going to be worth a lot of money. But they're so far few in between. There's a Tommy Lasorda. Um, they're so rare. I wouldn't even know what one's worth. I mean, you could almost pretty much name your price, you know, just to have one. I would say, you know, the Frank Thomas error card in a, you know, ungraded, probably a couple hundred bucks, maybe a thousand dollars. But if you get one graded and it comes out a nine or a 10, you could be out for a really, really nice payday if you get a nice, a nice one of those cards. Um, as far as the Ken Griffey Jr. cards go, I think they're about four or five hundred bucks in a PSA ten, I believe. Um, the tops cards always bring good money. Um, I know the Larry Walker right now is anywhere between one hundred and one hundred and twenty-five bucks. So if you're watching this video and you're watching it in March of 2020, you could probably go online and find that card, that uh, Larry Walker rookie, for one hundred and twenty-five, hundred and fifty bucks. Um, but, you know, if you're watching the video a year from now, that price could be higher. It could be lower. So I never really, really like to talk about what cards are worth because somebody could be watching this video a week from now or a year from now or five years from now. And I could say this card's worth 100 bucks, and it could be worth like $10,000. Who knows? Another Nolan Ryan. A little off center, but nice nonetheless. Dennis Eckersley. Kurt Ford. Randy Ford. There's another Ozzie Smith. Pretty cool card. Is it John Smoltz? Same thing. It's got that little stain there and the stain up top. Hmm. So you can see that these cards all have the same little errors or little, not errors, but little stains on them. That means they were all made at the same time. Carlton Fisk, Pat Borders. Okay. So I've got a handful of packs left over here. I'm just going to pull them all out. Four more packs to go. Let's see if we can have a little uh, luck over here. Oh, and boom. As I was talking about it, could we have any luck? Yes, we can. But, oh, that gum is right underneath the Mr. Frank Thomas. All right. Let's take a look at him right here. Little bit of gum residue on the back there. Nothing. Let me see if I can run him around over here on the towel there. Not bad, though. We got him. We pulled the Frank Thomas. And it's got his name. <laughs> if this was the error, the word Frank Thomas would not be there. But this is his regular card. So we pulled the Frank Thomas. So we did get one out of the cello box. Not bad. I'm pretty excited that we got one. This one is just a little bit off center left to right. I think the top and bottom 
Uh, yeah, it's a little off-center top to bottom, too. So not a perfect card, but it's good to hit it. We got one. Uh, literally, as I was talking about it, <laughs> we uh, we hit the card. There's a Craig Biggio. Uh, let's see who else we get in here. Tom Gordon. Kurt Schilling. Pretty cool card. We'll put Kurt Schilling on the side. Steve Wilson. Kenny Maldonado. Jeff King. Alan Trammell. Uh, let's see. Who else? Bobby Bonilla. No Sammy Sosa. And no Don Mattingly. I thought we'd at least hit one or two. Mattingly, maybe a Canseco. I don't know where the Consecos are. Now, okay, here we go. Let's pull that out. All right. Okay. Let's see who we got next in the stack. Steve Farr. Jesse Barfield. Here we go. Boom. There he is, Mr. Don Mattingly. A little bit off-center. Actually, a lot off-center. Look at this. Whoop. There you go. That's off-center, top to bottom, and left to right. <laughs> we hit it, but that's way off. But we still got one, so that's cool. They can't all be 10s, and they can't all be perfect. But we got our Don Mattingly. Let's see. We'll keep going here. So we hit the Mattingly. I wanted to hit a Mattingly. We hit the Griffey. We hit the Frank Thomas. So I'd love to pull a Larry Walker and a Sammy Sosa. And even the Juan Gonzalez. That'd be fun. I'm going to separate these guys here. Get rid of this. Let's see uh, who we could hit over here. So we got a Tim Burke. Uh, Dwight Evans. Tom I Barry Jones. Rafael Ramirez. Kurt Young. Sandy Koufax, turn back the clock. Pretty cool. Jack Howell. Ron Darling, Cecil Espy, Mark Grace. Daryl Strawberry. Wow, last card in that, in that lot. Daryl Strawberry played for the New York Mets. One of my favorite players. This card looks pretty nice. Uh, looks, looks decent. A little bit of like a bend to it. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera there, but nice card. All right, last pack out of this 1990 top cello box. Uh, let's see if we could find the gum here and we'll just take that out. See if we can get a, get a little bit of last pack magic on here. Mike Scott, all star John Franco, Sean Abner. Let's see if we can hit the Sosa or the Larry Walker. Paul Molitor, another one. These cards are a little bit warped over here. You can tell they were sitting in the bottom. There's a George Bell. Benny Santiago, Clay Parker, Rick Leach, Kevin Mitchell, Lou Whitaker, Tom Kelly. So we didn't hit everybody that we wanted to hit. So, but we got a lot of cool cards. So just to give a little bit of a recap here. Bob Manila, Bobby Vanilla, Bonilla, sorry, Bobby Bonilla, Alan Trammell, Kurt Schilling, Ozzie Smith, got a Tom Lasorda, Greg Maddox, Roger Clemens. So we got a couple notables here. We got, I think, two. Yeah, did we get? We got a couple of the Gary Sheffield uh, rookies here. Those are pretty cool. This one seems to be pretty nice shape. Got a Randy Johnson, Deion Sanders, Bobby Bo, Greg Jeffries. Got a really nice Mark McGuire here. Craig Biggio, a lighter. And a Doc Gooden. See, now these were my two favorites. Obviously, growing up in New York, I was a Mets fan. These were my guys right here. Dow Strawberry and Doc Gooden. These guys back-to-back, -back, man. Used to love watching these guys. And Gary Carter, too. Man, what a great team back in the 90s, like 80s, 90s uh, for New York Mets. So here's our Frank Thomas. We did pull the Frank Thomas. Um Really, really nice card. Uh, unfortunately, it's a little bit off-center, so I don't think I would grade this. But it's fun to hit. We got the Frank Thomas, and we got a really nice Ken Griffey. So there's our Ken Griffey. Uh, the Ken Griffey, you could see the scar right there. I don't know if you could see that on camera, but I could tell that they tried to Photoshop the scar there. It's kind of hard to see. They put, like, dots in there, but they definitely tried to Photoshop that. So we did get a pretty cool Griffey, the Photoshop Griffey, and the Don Mattingly, and a bunch of other cards. We got a bunch of the Nolan Ryans, the 5,000 Nolan Ryans. I got another Ozzy Smith, Nolan Ryan, Bo Jackson. And then, yeah, we got the Bernie Williams. So I think we did pretty good. 
Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you like watching us open up these uh, packs and checking out all the breaks that we do. If you like the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave us a message. We hope you guys uh, enjoyed the time with us and made it through this 30-minute long video. Thanks again for checking us out. We'll see you on the next break. Bye-bye, guys.